Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode, we started our trip up the river, stopped over here, and happened to find a fortress of Fan Clan Nephilim, who happened to, well, take the bodies of the uh, explorers who had the Orb of Thralny and stole the orb, which appears to be broken now. Yeah, very unfortunate. Now, well, I still think we need to finish them off, and it seems the only way we can do that is by going up there, which we can only get get to by basically going underground here. So, let's go. Light, please. Thank you. Ooh, step right into an ambush. And there's even an ogre up there. Interesting. All right, get on the killing. Uh, I can only reach two of them. That sucks. Come on. Actually, hold on. Can you reach them from there? You can reach all three of them from there. Good. Huh, couldn't attack. Interesting. No matter. Now come back here and die! I said to come back here and die! Fang Clan Conquerors. Okay, fine. We'll kill this ogre taskmaster you have here. Burn! Burn! Die! Stabbing! Stabbing! God, I sound so bloodlusty. Oh, that's a sniper. Interesting. I wonder if you have a good bow. Would be nice if we could have it. You get a good look at all of the hard work the Nephilim have been doing. They have been digging out tunnels and making drains down here. They plan to expand these caves into a large, impressive fortress. You look through the north gate and see that the cave floor slopes upward gently to the north. There are grates set into the floor, and you can hear a dark, icy river flowing below them. There are no defenders visible ahead. The chamber is unnervingly empty and quiet. You start to suspect that it is very dangerous down here. I would not be surprised. In fact, I have a feeling if we go in there, they're going to try and drown us. That would be something I would actually expect from what I'm seeing here. Get back a bit. Alright. Some beautiful crystals. Did that guy drop anything? No. Alright. How much is this going to suck? You approach the northern gate, walking slowly and carefully. The water and mold on the stone floor make it very slippery. As you cross the room, you hear a loud grinding noise. The machinery built by the Nephilim cranks into action. The gate to the south slams shut. And then you hear water flowing. You look down through the grate at your feet. The river has been diverted. The water is rapidly rising. The floor slopes gently up to the north. If you don't find a way to get to higher ground, you will soon drown. You try to turn the wheel, but it is stuck. Something is holding it in place. You put all of your effort into turning it, but until something releases it, it won't budge. There is another rumbling sound. The wheel by the north wall turns slightly. The gate goes up slightly. And then several globs of slime flow into the room. You're trapped by water in one direction and goo in the other. Well, we can turn it, at least. Okay, this probably won't be very good. Let's do what we can to kill these so we can get out of here. We don't have much time. I mean, we have a little time, but not much. Come on! Right, up to the next area. We managed to survive that. And it's still stuck. Can't go out. 
So now we need to wait for the water to come out. There is another rumbling sound. The wheel by the north wall turns slightly. The gate goes up slightly. And then you are joined in the chamber by a pack of terrified rats. They are scared of drowning and looking desperately for something for something to climb. Like, say, you. Terrified sewer rats. Great. First slimes, now rats. Fabulous. Okay, kill them as quickly as possible. Do as much damage as possible. We don't really have much time to do this. You need more dexterity, I think. You're not doing very well. That works. Okay, now we need to finish off that rat. Which we kind of need to actually run from, please. Okay, the rat should come in after us. There it is. And the rat is dead. Alright. Remove the poison. Won't budge. Come on. Uh, the wheel by the north, gate goes up, and more blobs of slime flow into the room. You hope the Nephilim are grateful to you for clearing out- for clearing all these pests out of their sewer. Unstable masses. Oh no. You know what, I have a feeling we need to get out of here because that is going- Yeah, that's just- that's just spawning more of them. Okay, that is very, very bad. Okay, um... Better idea. Everyone, get out of there. In fact, I see how we can get out. All we need to do... Come on, stop doing that. Alright, we just need to drive them, get that far away, and they'll drown. No! God damn it, she's stuck. Wait a second, we might be able to get out. Hold on. Stun them. It stunned one of them. Okay, we managed to get out. Kinda. Now we just need to make sure that those, you know, stay away. Okay. Now we just need to hold them back until they all drown. You hear a deep grinding noise behind you, followed by a clunk. Much to your relief, the water finally stops flowing. Okay, so, uh, to get through this, we just need to kill this thing, and we'll be fine. Kill that unstable mass, er, those unstable masses, and we're good. Till then, we're kind of trapped here. Fortunately, we should be able to kill this without a problem. And there we go. Okay. Now we're trapped under here. Goody. Oh, fantastic. Well, I know what this is going to cause. Alright, let's ride this up. When you pull the lever, you hear creaking and grinding. The lift shudders under your feet. Then, slowly, it begins to rise. Unsurprisingly, the Fang Clan is taking advantage of your period of vulnerability on the lift. However, they are not fighting you in a decent, honorable way. Instead, archers set up on the ledge above you, ready to shower you with missiles. Unsurprising completely. Alright. 
get on the uh, killing. Excellent, we can hit three of them with that. I'll take that. And one of them's actually running. <laughs> Coward. Alright. And we move up a little more. Another one is terrified. Ha! They're all terrified! Beautiful. Fine. Shoot at the terrified ones until they die. You two work on that guy. Oh, hello! Several Nefarum leap down from onto the platform to fight you. Hello! Did not expect that to happen. Well, you can at least finish those off a bit. Uh, how about a little minion? Ooh, I'll take that. Minion to assist sounds delightful. Wow. Those guys are strong. Relatively tough, too. Alright. Yeah, poison will work. Ooh, that revenant is powerful. I love those revenants. They're not as strong physic. They're not as strong in the toughness area, but they do a lot of damage, and I like that. See, it's beautiful. Right, go for that grouping of attacks. Excellent. The Revenant should finish that guy off. Beautiful. There we go. There's still one more archer up there, but he's not coming to us. And now more archers have come out. All right. All right, fine then. How about a charm? Because it resisted, that's why. Damn. All right. Poison for all. You need to do a healing, I think. Now, more poison! They'll all slowly die to death. Yes, die to death. I literally, I really just said that. I can't really believe either. I don't know. Ah, wrong spell. Ah, no biggie. They're all slowly dying. As we slowly go up this lift. Poison for that one. Two giants, allies to the Fang Clan, run into the room. A diviner and a slinger. That's not good. That is not good at all. In fact, I dare say that is absolutely horrible. I bet we can get that slinger on our side. If we, if we can charm him, I bet we can. Succeed! Resisted. That must be a strong giant. And, of course, they're all covered by an invisible shield. At least they're... Ah, perfect, we're finally up here. Now then. Get that diviner dead. You may be tough, but we will def destroy you. You see, archers are all kind of failing and falling and dying. You need to do healing. 
Ow, ow. Of course he's dead. Damn. I would have loved it. And of course he's protected by that. Why would he not be? Okay. That'll help out a lot. Please stop with all those spells. I really am not liking this. Haste! Counters that. There goes one of them. Oh, hey, you decided to come join the fight. About bloody time. Didn't you notice your friends were all dying? Okay. Really? Again? Counter that. Thank you. That one's gonna die in a turn. Alright, another casting of that. Oh, bloody hell, enough of that. Yeah, poison on that one. I'd much ra uh, of course, he's gone. Okay. Of course, he's protected. Not very pleasant. Big healing there, and that should help counter up the sh counter the shield blessing a little. You is that guy even poisoned? Well, he is now. Yeah, those two are going to die next round. It's for certain. All right, remove that. Thank you. God damn it, not more stun. I do not like the stun. Alright, summon a minion. Oh, I guess that one's just terrified. Not poisoned. Alright, remove the stun. Can we just kill this diviner already? Because I really don't want to deal with him anymore. Yeah, let's go with the big smacks. Painful as it is. You quit that! Well, the Diviner's almost dead. There we go! Perfect. About bloody time. Seriously, poison and go die. Uh, this is taking a long time. I did not expect this one region to end up this... this... long to destroy. Kind of irritating, in all honesty. We must be close to getting out of here, I hope. Alright, let's just finish this guy off. That removes all that. I'll just kill this guy already. Come on. There we go. Bloody hell. Oh! Spiders! Hello. How about you, uh, come say hi? Yeah, that works. Cave Widows. Why are there Cave Widows under there? Spiders don't ally. Except Aranea. <sighs> Great. 
Grounding this, plus 16 armor, plus 10 to st energy resistance. Interesting, but that also has fire resistance and it isn't a bulky item. I think we'll sell it. You can sell those. Take that and that. Oh look, an Aranea. Kind of answered my question of what they were doing there. Of course. Shouldn't be surprised, I guess. And he's dead. Alright. And there's another. Can't see it. Of course not. Alright. Easy to kill. And there's another. Well, get on killing it. There we go. It's another river, so we must be close to getting out of here. Hello. There we go. Come on! There. All the spiders are dead. Can you let us out now, please? Thank you. Alright. We must be close to the chieftain. I think I saw him before. Oh, look. Almarian wine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the chieftain's right over there. Composite bow. Blessed bow. Not as good as that, not as good as that, not as good as that. That's better. Alright, and can sell those. Okay, so we know he's over here. Let's cast our protections. You find to your surprise that the chieftain of this fortress is standing here alone in front of his throne waiting for you. His blade is out, but he makes no motion to attack. He wears a beautiful gold ring, sparkling with jewels. Instead, he makes a little salute to you with, it, with the blade. Grrr, I am High Chief Greyfang. I am the leader of the mighty Fang Clan. Grrr, I have made a decision. You must leave. I have had the guards step aside. You will go. Take the little treasure you have found and leave us. You are the leader of the Fang Clan. Grrr, there are many little clans in our number. All answer to me. We are proud and fierce, but when confronted, sometimes me, we must be wise. How do I leave? The wheel is to the west. Turn it to open the gate. Walk straight out and none will stop you. And do not return. Why are you not fighting me? I would have no more of my people die to fight you. We slay our knights when we must, but we will not throw our lives away. Not in that, such a time of crisis. There is a time of great trial and poverty and hunger ahead. We will have Avernum no one thing. What Avernites have you slain? Soldiers who, had, who attacked us, those who would rob us, those who would settle in our land, those who would bring the blight to our crops. We kill those who threaten us or come near us. It is our survival or yours. Have you killed any Avernite soldiers? Very few. Only those we had to. Though not long ago, some soldiers tried to fly past along the river. Powerful magic, but it failed them. They fell to their deaths. Brrr, they died in our land, so we claim them as trophies. All the better to scare away invaders. And what must Avernum know? We of the Fang Clan will never return to the surface. The Empire will, would kill us. We will never join you. We will not be tame. We will be our own creatures, proud and free. And we will claim land for our own. Like this land here. This is ours. We attacked you instead of parlaying you. This was our mistake, one that has cost us dearly. He twists a the beautiful gold ring nervously on his finger. Now tell me, will you leave in peace or will you challenge our right to hold this land? <sighs> All we wanted was the orb. You said yourself, you didn't kill them. 
you may have killed Avernites, but you're doing it in self-defense. You're doing it to keep them away from you. I don't know whether those Avernites who you killed did so because they were trying to kill you or because they just trespassed on your land and you were angry. It's clear that you are attacking people who are approaching your land, but you are right. You at least realize you should have parlayed with us. You should have spoken with us. If you would have done that, we would have probably been able to reach some sort of agreement. All we needed was the orb. If you handed us the orb, all this death would have been avoided, and we might have even been able to talk to Avernum and say, here, we have these Nephil here, and these Nephar here. The Fang Clan just wants to be left alone. Let them have this bit of land. Yes, it is very fertile. Yes, there are crops without the blight. Yes, that would cause problems. In fact, I'd be perfectly happy not telling Avernum about all this. Yes, we need the food. And if things get really bad, we may ha send some soldiers to at least try to trade with you. Get some blight-free mushrooms in exchange for some other sorts of goods you might need. But instead, you immediately went to fighting. <sighs> but you know what? I'm... You guys know me. You know the kind of person I am. I'm fine. I will go peacefully. You have learned at least... What... You have learned a lesson. You lost so many of your soldiers, so many of your people... In this fight that shouldn't have happened. We got what we came for. We don't need to fight anymore. I will go peacefully. High Chief Greyfang nods. Then open the gate and depart and do not return. If you come back, we will slay you. This is the land of the Fang Clan. He turns away. Very well, and we will not even touch your treasures over there. You turn the wheel, opening the gateway out of the enemy fortress. Then, to keep from being trapped in here again, you jam the mechanism with a chunk of rock. Okay, that that's that's just that's just petty. We didn't have to do that. <sighs> All right, let's leave and let's return the uh, the orb to where it needs to go. We can do that much before we end this episode. Come on, back down we go. I can't even see that. I can't even see where our boat is on... Oh yeah, I can just barely see the single slightly darker pixel. It's ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, we can stop here. Let's take the pylon into the castle. <sighs> I know, some of you would probably gone for the fighting just because of the treasure. Some of you might have said this land belongs to Avernum. Some of you probably would have just wanted the experience. Me? I'm not in it for all that. I'm doing this with good reason. I'm trying to be right in all this. Lark, I have your Orb of Thralny. Well, what is left of it? Lark lets out a cry of limitless woe as she takes the shards. Ah! No! With your help, she manages con to console herself. What a waste. But perhaps some of the residual magic remains in the shards. Perhaps the artifact can be reformed. She unlocks the northeast door. Help yourself to what is in there. It is my bedroom, but I've had to use it for artifact overflow. If you wish to hunt for something else, something that's probably already broken anyway, let me know. Sure, I'd be glad to help you find something else. I've heard rumors that you have been going north. Far north. If so, I would like something of huge s historical significance. In the time of Shades, Avernum was in part saved because the Venati were able to contact a group of adventurers. They did so using crystals hidden in caverns north of Formello and Fort Draco. Perhaps, somewhere in those caverns, you might find one of those original communication crystals. Bring me knowledge of its location, and if it has already been shattered, a fragment of it. The Time of Shades? A strange time, one that many despised. A time when the Venati were of great use to us when they weren't trying to, you know, kill us. Those times are gone forever, but the debris remains. 
lovely, lovely debris. Where should I hunt for these crystals? The adventurers who found the crystals were most neglectful of their responsibility to history. All they said when they reported the, the, to the castle was that the stones were north of Formello and Fort Draco. However, if in your travels you find signs of Anatai activity, that would be a natural place to explore. Fortunately, we played the game so we know where it is. Closed. Closed. Open. Coins. Persian crystal. Among the items, uh, you are only able to comprehend one of the holy rituals here. You learn how to call deadly spectral allies out of the astral plane. Your skill with the spell Divine Host increases. Ooh, fascinating. That's a handy one. All right. Also, we leveled up a bit. Michael. Melee weapons to ten. Yes, please. And I think we need to start working on improving Blade Master a bit. Though, in all honesty, a bit more protection for... Ah. Uh, improve hardiness and quick action. Yeah, I think that works. Next level will improve defense and hardiness, I think. And Rika! What are we going to improve for you? I think more endurance will work. Yeah, of all of you, Anar needs more endurance. I think I'll work on that. Yeah, I improved uh, Spellcraft l a bit last time. Next, uh, we'll work on Endurance. And you? I don't even know what we're going to improve on you next. And you're almost leveled up. You have an 8 Blade Master? Jesus. Anatomy and Quick Strike would probably be very handy, actually. Could probably put a point in each. No, no, I need to improve your dexterity. It's a lot. L it's a bit lower than I'd like. Actually, that's not what I should have taken. That's the stairway I should have taken. Because we have a few things to sell. And... Per diem. Thank you. I'd like to trade with you. I have things to sell. And next episode... We're going to get back to hunting through whatever we can find. Probably through the lake in the Eastern Gallery. I think we may be able to find a way into... Well... Oh, no, that's not where I meant to go. Into the Dragon Gate. But we'll do that exploration in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Trusted44. That is Ortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 6 Let's Play. And I shall see you all next time. <laughs>